welcome to our um, training today. We're going to go over how to, it's actually going to be a beginner's guide to creating courses or digital products for your travel agency. And so how many of you all are um, have already a digital product or want to build it? And if so, what do you want it to be about? Have you guys put that in the comments and let me know so I can get some context. This will be your first product or your second product. What are you guys thinking out there? And then I can also make sure to tailor uh, this conversation for what you guys are thinking about doing. Let me get the comments up so I can see them. Let me know in the comments, what kind of product are you guys interested in creating in your business? Or you have absolutely no idea. Are you guys feeling like that? You have no idea what to create? We make sure chat is on. Are you guys still there? Can you hear me okay? I am lost. I All can right. hear you. <laughs> okay. I can hear you. Yeah. So my question, let me ask the question again. So um, you guys are on this training. My question is, is what kind of course would you guys like to build? Or you just have no idea. What kind of course are you guys interested or digital product are you interested in building? I have no idea. Um, I've had my travel business for four years. Okay. And um, COVID kind of ripped us a new one, but everybody could say that. Um, I'm starting to get new clients in slowly but surely, but I am trying to monetize my client business, my travel business. So it's 100% versus a part time. Yep. And so, um, um, so I need to find ways to, for lack of a better phrase, make money even when people are not necessarily going on trips. Fair enough. All right. And so that's what a couple of you guys have said. So you have no idea, but the topic is of interest to you. What I will tell you guys is how many of you guys have been on a supplier training recently and you learned all about a particular brand? Um, maybe you've done cruise training. Maybe you've done um, a resort training. Have any of you guys participated in any sort of supplier training this year? We're in July, about to be August, right? So lots of training, right? And you've learned a lot of information about that particular brand. Maybe it was a destination. Maybe it's just a, I mean, even with the, let's just say the 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 the, the, cra the what, what cloud strike fiasco that happened last week and maneuvering that, I don't know, like if all of you had, uh, people who were traveling during that time. And every time there's some sort of airline catastrophe, right? There's a, an influx of work that you all have to do and a lot of coverage that you guys uh, provide to your clients. But there are still people who do it themselves and they need maybe um, a guide. Would they pay $7 for a guide to how to do that kind of stuff themselves? You creating a little how-to guide and selling it, right, is a great way to get leads. And it's also a great way to impart upon others your knowledge for money. People will pay for your knowledge. And you all are uniquely positioned with a lot of knowledge. And there's still, it, what, I, what I find is advisors become a little bit scared of sharing their knowledge because they think if they share their knowledge, then people won't use them. But the reality is that people are lazy and they still don't do things right themselves. And we are not in a, a world where people can't get access to information. What we provide, if you do decide to go down the course creation or digital product creation world is we provide, you can provide valuable information in an organized fashion so that it's easy to consume. That's why you're here, right? I'm providing you a quick way to learn how to get a skill that you want so that you can benefit in your business. 
your clients are in the same boat. They want to know how to get to that destination. What are the best places at a particular destination? Selling itineraries so that they, um, for the ones that are doing it themselves, you can still monetize that. Information, organization, aggregation of information is a beautiful way for you all to make extra income inside of your business and do it on autopilot. So once you create it, that's it. So I'm glad that you guys are here today. And let me just get my screen ready to share for you all so that we can get started. So, all right. So the first thing that you want to do when you're creating a course is, so many of you guys said, I don't have any idea of what kind of course I could create. Any uh, Anyone out there specializing in a particular destination? Um, Jamaica, the Caribbean, Europe, Bali, you know, Dubai, do you have signature destinations that you um, go to every year? Maybe there's cruise lines that you like to travel every year. Do any of you guys have those as areas that you work in in your travel business? If the answer to that is yes, those become great opportunities for you to package up the information that you know about those resorts those modes of transportation, those um, destinations, all of those become great ideas for you to use as course courseware. A course doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be, you know, thousands of lessons. It doesn't have to be like you're getting a dissertation. It could be simple, a simple set of, of lessons, maybe one, two, three lessons. It could be just a digital product, which is just a guide. How many of you guys are creating travel guides? You know, there's uh, um, uh, the guy, uh, Richard Early, who has Toby, and he's got the AI platform that's just for travel advisors. Inside of his platform, he's got travel guides and all sorts of opt-in type of usable um, information that you guys could take and use as you take that content and you can use it inside of your, you could talk about it in your YouTube channel. You could talk about it and create a course around that particular destination and create really compelling information. The Once you decide what it is that you want to create a course or a digital product around, what is the goal? Is the goal to get, is it, a, is it to attract strangers? as a leads, right? Do you want to get leads with this course or digital product? Do you want to sell? Do you want to monetize it? Do you want to make money, right? An evergreen type of thing. What is it as, is it a gift, maybe a bonus that you give to new people that join your community? What's the goal of the information piece that you're creating? What do you want it to do? Because that's really going to dictate how you promote it and market it, and then ultimately the systems that you put in place. So once you know what the goal is, determine that. Should be pretty quick. Do you want leads? Let me know in comments. Were you guys looking for leads? Are you looking for money? I think a couple of people said you'd like to have an additional stream of income, which I really think is great. I had a client um, several years ago, and she specialized in wedding destinations. And she was uh, a wealth of knowledge. She had a Facebook group. That was one of the things that we did. She grew a Facebook group, but she knew from A to Z what it took to build, like to get somebody out of town to get married. And all of that knowledge that she had, right? She charged a fee for doing that design, hosting, you know, doing all of the work that got, got the people out of time. Plus she got paid from the resort commission and all of that. But packaging up that knowledge in terms of what it takes to get yourself out of town, somebody absolutely would have paid for it because not everybody wants to use somebody. Some people just like to consume the information and then um, then still utilize your service because they don't want to do it. They say, oh, it's, it's a lot of stuff. I don't want to do it. I still need help, right? So make sure you know what the goal is. Make sure what the audience is for, that you clearly identify who you want to consume this. You don't want all travelers to consume it. So create a course that's got a particular type of traveler in mind, a particular desire that they want. So let's say if it's a destination specific type of, of a course or digital product that you're creating, it's somebody who's interested in that destination. It's somebody who's interested in that part of the world, maybe that interested in this type of experience. Just make sure you know who it is that you're building it for. See who's out there. Number three is see who's out there in the marketplace. Who's already doing this? Who already has courseware or content? 
um, uh, around the topic that you want to do. I'm going to tell you, Pinterest is a really good inspiration and also to see what's available, particularly when it comes to digital. Etsy is another place to check out where stuff is. Those two, and, and YouTube. So check out those three places to see if somebody already has what you're thinking about. This will give you inspiration. This will allow you to sort of snoop and sort of hack what they're already doing. What did they talk about? What did they uh, use in terms of visuals? What? How do they structure the information? Amazon is also another good place for you to look to see who's already got the kind of content that you want to create. Is it already there and how do they do it? And then if they have a review section in any of those places, comments, you can take a look at the comments and see what people said they liked or didn't like about that particular piece of information. And then you can use that as a guide when you're building out your own. Developing course content, again, very simple. And I'm going to tell you the cheat sheet is chat GPT. Once you come up with the topic, you do a little bit of research to see what's already out there from an inspiration perspective. Pinterest is my favorite source for looking to see when it comes for digital products. I tell all of my clients, go to Pinterest, start with Pinterest, see who's already got a digital product or a, and maybe they haven't called it a course, but a digital product can be turned into a course. A course is just, you know, several pieces of information uh, combined up into one. And so once you find some inspiration, and what I will tell you is if you can't find it, you're probably just not using the right keywords because it's out there. We, unfortunately, as humans, don't have a lot of original ideas that nobody has ever thought of. Somebody has probably already created some content that will give you some idea, one, of what has already been done so that you can either beat it, you know, uh, leverage it, and I don't mean copy it, but I literally mean use it as inspiration for the content that you have. I'm never advocate advocating plagiarizing or infringing upon someone's copyright, but definitely being inspired and hacking how they are uh, combining and aggregating the information. You just then develop the content. So really creating an outline and where I use ChatGPT for is to help me organize my thoughts based on what my idea is. So let's say I want to do a, I want to do a, like a course on, uh, let, let's say I would do a course on building a trip to Dubai. All right. And you, you're like, well, no travel. I want people to use me when they go to Dubai. I'm telling you. They're do it yourself first. When you're talking about, I want a revenue stream, what you're doing is instead of having somebody contact you, use you, particularly if you're not charging a design fee, use you for that, send people to your course and say, listen, hey, you want to learn how to get to Dubai on a budget? I built a course around that. Here, go here. If you don't want to use me as a, as a service, I've got a great course that addresses that very topic. And it's $27, it's $37. That really is how you build extra um, ex, uh, additional income. And then you send people to something that they're not going to fill out a travel request for you, waste your time. You already know that they're not really interested in utilizing your services, but you create a package of information that they could, you give them, you know, great ideas. You can in, uh, include affiliate links there in terms of what to do when they're in Dubai. I would include links to my um, Viator in terms of booking, booking the excursions or the activities. That's what I would do inside of my course. So you want to just create an outline. I use ChatGPT to help me define the outline. Once I have the, 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 the topic of what I want to talk about, make sure that I'm clear about what the audience is. And then I let it know, I let ChatGPT know, listen, I only want five chapters or five lessons. I want a short lesson. It's going to be consumable in let's say 30 minutes, right? I could do three, three, four lessons and somebody can consume it in 20 minutes or less. Use ChatGPT to help you create the content. Just make sure that if you are doing videos, make sure that they're video, they're engaging. If you if you, I'm a slideshow person. You can see I love to I like to speak to 
a document. It helps keep me on track. But if you are a free form person and you just want to have notes available, just make sure that it's engaging. Ask, you know, ask when you're doing a lesson or a course, a digital, make sure that you've got calls to action. Every lesson should have an objective and you want somebody to do something, right? Either reply, fill out, fill out a cheat sheet, fill out a form or something like that, because that really makes the learner be engaged. Um, and this last one, in terms of developing interactive elements, you know, inside of our course builder, you have the ability to do elements, um, do quizzes and assignments. Definitely don't say you've got to go down that what that route, but you can help have Chat G Chat GPT help you build like a short little quiz to like, and I really like these when I see travel advisors do this, like what's your travel type? Like, you know, what kind of travel are you? And you can have ChatGPT help you build a little course, uh, a quiz to have somebody identify the type of traveler that they are. So again, interaction is really the objective because the more that they're interacting with the course, the more chances they're gonna remember you as the provider of the course. And I would have all sorts of calls to action in every lesson to book a call with me now so that in the event they wanna explore more about whatever I'm teaching about, they can do that. Then you wanna set up the course in a platform. Um, we probably won't have time for me to show this. I'll probably do a part two where we'll actually, I'll demo, demonstrate how you can set it up inside of our platform, but you wanna be able to set up the course, have it real easy for somebody to go through, go through each lesson, download the information that you provide. So if you do a digital, if you do a digital product, I recommend using our course area to deliver that. Um, uh, that course into so that they can get it inside of your community. There's all sorts of great things that you can use in terms of delivering the content using our platform. And so we'll show that in our next training. The thing that I will always say is you do not want to build a thing without promoting that thing. So if you've got a course and you want to use it to get sales, incremental sales, um, you want to promote it. Even if you want to get leads, you want to promote it. If this is going to be a course or a digital product, like a guide or a um, guides are really the most common thing I see travel advisors. Checklists are really another type of thing that are good. Packing lists. I know a lot of advisors that create packing lists by destination based on, you know, the weather or the, you know, what, what the destination and the experience that they're going on. All of those are great digital products that you should be using to get leads. They also, if you have a collection of them, those become a collection of products that you can sell. They could be low ticket items that you can use as a part of your marketing strategy. So you want to have a marketing plan on how you intend to promote it. Some really quick organic ways to promote your course or digital product is to have it as a part of your salutation, to have it in the banner on your social media place, uh, pages, to run um, uh, information about that. So every week you do a post about it. You include it in your email list, right? You include it in your newsletter. It's everywhere so that you're pointing everybody to it. In your YouTube channel, you let people know that you've got a course that they can buy or that they can download or get access to. Promotion, promotion, promotion. You're going to hear that pretty much as a common theme from me when it when it comes to building anything. When it comes to being to creating trips you want to promote. When it comes to building products you want to promote. Um, you want to promote. When it comes to you know offering a service you want to promote. Promotion should be the first thing that you think about every time you create a new fill in the blank. Then the other thing that you want to do is you want to implement a feedback loop. So, you know, I'm really big on making sure that you have something in place that once you do a thing, you've got a way to collect feedback. You can use your Google My Business page as a way to get reviews on the course that you have from your travel business or the digital product. You can do a survey. You can ask, you can do a poll. At the end of the day, what you want to do is you want people to consume your content and you want to get reviews, testimonials on what they thought of it. And, and that's another opportunity to pitch your services. 
All right, and then um, uh, we've kind of got about five minutes and then I'm just gonna actually just show you the area and then I'm gonna dedicate a training just for actually building out the course because I am going to um, move straight to open office hours after this. All right, so in our membership area, um, this week we talked about uh, building communities, but what I'm going to do is before you can add a course to a community, you actually have to build it. So what we're going to do is go to products, which is the same thing as courses. And you've got this really great option here is to create a course. You can start from scratch. And then we've got a couple of templates that you can use. And what I will tell you is I would just do a really simple course. You can, I, I actually like to build it from um, like a blank slate, but you may not want to do that. So we're just going to start building it from um, this sprint course. I'm going to actually select this start building from a marathon course. And then it's going to build all the lessons for you already. And as long as you have your outline, this becomes a really easy thing for you to do inside of the system. It builds an introduction, just whatever your chapter one, chapter two, and then chapter three. So you can consider these sort of gray areas as chapters and then these underneath them as lessons. And you can add video to your lessons. You can add images. You can just have text. You can have, it's pretty much whatever you want to put in the, the actual content of the course is really up to you. And so here, this is just, um, when you use this template, it's going to give you some instructions as to what to do. You can add video, like I mentioned, this is a thumbnail of what your client's going to see on the course. And then um, you can attach files to the course. And then again, you can add imagery and text checklists and all of that. Pretty simple. You don't have to have multiple lessons when you build a course. You could have just one chapter, have a couple lessons. That's pretty much what we do when we do our free courses is it's going to be one chapter and it's going to have a couple of lessons in it. Most of the time when I do opt-ins and if so, if I was doing a travel guide, I would build a course around that because I want somebody to actually sign up for it. I want to capture that lead through the sign up process of it. And then they can download, you know, the content and then I'll offer it that way. And I think I actually have an example of what that looks like. I'm going to pause for a second and see if there's any questions about this. And then does this help spur some ideas for you all when it comes to, um, does it, spur some ideas in terms of what you can do. Let me just give you the link to joining our community because this is where you'll be able to get the replay and also the document that I'm sharing here. Does this help you guys with some ideas in terms of what you can do? I'm gonna actually show you what um, a course built out looks like inside of our school. We have lots of courses. <laughs> so I, um, I've been building courses for as long as I can remember. So one of the courses that we have in our community is our, I did a training some, uh, I want to say it was last year. It was how to become an independent travel advisor. And we have 165 people who are enrolled in that. And so it's very simple and it's a very simple course, not very complicated. And this is very much what you can do for your downloads, your digital products is this is just download the checklist. And so when you click on this checklist, it um, this is just a link to the checklist and it's just an image here and that's it. And we promote it. And then the next lesson in this course is um, just what the next steps are what you need to do. So what I want you to do is you can, you know, you can book some time with me. You can, um, you know, get my particular services if you want to go to the next step. So this is really what I want you guys to think about. Courses, particularly if you give them away for free, are great lead magnets for your travel business. Again, I'm not talking rocket science. Like you do not have to like, you know, spill the beans on every single thing that you do to build a trip. But let's just say you do specialize in destination weddings. And I'm using this one as an example because it's a real 
easy one that I think everybody understands, right? You, you have to decide on a venue. You have to, you know, you have to pick a resort. You have to design, you have to meet with the, with the, the, the property. And they probably have somebody who specializes on property, right? So you've got a series of steps and all of those can be individual lessons that you can do. It could be just one lesson where you just have a checklist and you give somebody a checklist and then you tell them the next steps are, Hey, if you want to learn how to, if you want somebody to work with you to get this done, book a discovery call with me. That's literally all that you have to do inside of your course. And so I'm going to show you here, like I actually have, when you download this, you get a bonus course here. And the way that we market this, when we were running ads to this, 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 the, the ads to this particular opt-in did very well. And it was an information piece. People got to download. We got people that enrolled in it. And we have since like just taken it out of the course and just made it available on our YouTube channel and all of that. But what I will tell you is now that this course is available, to you and you go into your communities. I'm going to go back to the demo area. Um, actually, I think I just have to go here. So I'm in our, this is our community to the link that I just joined. I just um, gave you guys what you then see is in the learning. So let's say you create a, a simple guide. Let's say you create, I think somebody yesterday was saying they're going to do a channel and they're going to have a channel. They're going to have destinations, you know, channels for every destinations, right? And they're going to make them private and have only their um, uh, people who are enrolled in their um, trips for that destination here. But here from a learning perspective, they could add a travel guide as a course and have all these destination specific travel guides as free resources available for people who join their community and you can do that. And so we once you add the course, you'll just add the course to your community and you get to decide if you want to make that course free or paid. So here, like this is one of our um, setup courses. You can make it a recurring payment. You can make it free or you can make it one time and then you can charge people for it. So this platform really allows you to manage all of that in one place. So you don't have all these sort of separate funnels that are everywhere. And then you can have people really starting to talk about the, the, the you know, what they thought about the guide. And then you can promote to them specifically what they uh promote to your community, your trips that you're gonna be offering around a, de a destination. All right, with that, that is what I wanted to show you today is really this is the beginner's guide on creating a course. First step for those who said that they don't have an idea is what to do is to think about what are you passionate about when it comes to travel? What do you love about travel? That's really a great, I, great place to start. What do you love? What do you love about what you do? Could that be turned into a checklist? Could that be turned into a guide as a way to communicate and attract people who would be interested in that thing? Checklists are really great. Guides are really good. Have ChatGPT help you have it become your best friend and helping taking that idea to um, an actual marketable uh, title and outline. And then you can have a platform like Travel Pro Suite to help you actually launch it and then market it as well. All right, we will be coming here every Tuesday and Thursday, we'll have a training and then we'll always open it up. So if you have any questions about your travel business and you need answers, you can come here to uh, this lesson. So go ahead and join our membership. You'll get the replay and I'll also include the guide in, our, um, in the post that we, when we launch the replay. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.